Hi friends, it's Liz here. I thought I would come on and just do a quick update about where I've been and what's been going on um, while I do that so that you can look at something. If you wanted to, I'm just going to show you some previously recorded videos of um, items that I had packaged either to send in happy mail or um, orders that came in the shop. So I'll just let that sh let that play while I update you. So I've been away about a month now. Um, my family and I ended up getting COVID and we had not um, had anything since COVID started. Uh, you know, we've been taking all the precautions that were suggested. We've been doing it all. And, you know, for us, that felt like that's what was sort of keeping us uh, from getting COVID because we were being very careful with, um, you know, everything we were doing. Um, we ended up going to a baseball game about a month ago. Now, usually uh, the baseball games that we've gone to in the past, the uh, stadiums are open and, you know, you've got your fresh air and the sun and everything coming in. Um, I'm in Ontario, Canada, so we ended up going to Toronto to watch the Jays um, baseball game. What ended up happening that day is it was raining really, really bad. And of course, they had to close the dome. So, you know, 45,000 people in an enclosed space. Um, and I'm thinking that's where this came from. <laughs> so we had been avoiding, you know, large get togethers for a long time. If we were make, having get togethers, it was outside so we could have, you know, fresh air, etc. cetera. Um, we, you know, we try, as I said, to do everything we needed to do to uh, keep ourselves safe and also keep others safe in case we had been asymptomatic at any point in time. Um, but yeah, this is, this was um, what ended up kind of, I think just, you know, happening. Um, I was the first one to get the symptoms. And as soon as that happened, I, of course, started isolating uh, in our home. And then slowly, um, I started to feel a little better after a few days of severe, like just symptoms. Um, I had fevers for about three days that were just insane. And of course, all those symptoms that we all know um, of COVID going on. Um, my daughter got it right after me. And of course, then she came in isolated with me. And then my husband got some symptoms, but his were not as bad um, in the sense that, um, you know, he didn't get the fevers, he didn't get uh, the body aches, but he got the exhaustion, um, the headaches, and he also got the loss of taste and smell. Now, he's still going through the, um, he has not um, regained his taste of, um, sorry, his sense of taste and smell. Um, I'm still having the severe exhaustion, severe, um, like just no energy. Um, I can't focus on many things. And that's one of the reasons I haven't really been making videos. I, I keep um, losing my focus on what I'm trying to say or do. Uh, I'm not feeling at all um, creative. And so it's just been like a standstill. So uh, that's where I've been. I've been recovering. Uh, thank you so, so much to those of you that have uh, messaged me and contacted me and wanted to know what was going on. Um, thank you for your prayers, your um, suggestions. I truly, truly appreciate it. It's just been wonderful to um, be able to connect with you and, and sort of share the COVID struggles that we've all had. Um, the one thing that many of you are saying is um, experiencing the exhaustion and the dry cough. Um, apparently, this is what seems to last the longest for many of you, and that's what is happening to me right now. So it's interesting to also know the different ways that this um, shows up in people, the different symptoms. 
Um, I think my son is um, may have been asymptomatic because, um, you know, we were isolating. We were trying to make sure that we did not spread it within our household. If we could avoid that, we were doing everything possible. So he did not um, show any symptoms of COVID. So we're thinking he just, you know, may have had it and just not be one of those people that did not have any symptoms and so within our household we had like you know three different um ways that covid showed up and oh my goodness it's just it was so difficult for um for me and my daughter of course um we both got like i said very similar symptoms i have previous um health conditions that kind of maybe made it worse for me and that was one of the main reasons i was being very safe as much as I could be to try and not catch this. But it just so happened that during the time that I think in the news it was coming out that, you know, it was COVID was no longer an issue. That's when we get it. And it was just so um, mind boggling to me how, um, you know, from 2020 till now we had not um, been exposed in some way. And, and of course it happened just last month. So that's where I've been. Um, I will be coming back soon. I have many, many uh, previously recorded videos that I have to edit and do voiceovers for. I've got some tutorials coming up, some one page wonder projects, um, some more use up junk and make um, some creative project videos. I have many of those already on my channel. If you um, are new, I have playlists so you can check those out if you are interested. Um, I've got a giveaway coming up as well. And I think the first video I will be sharing soon is the winner of my past um, giveaway that I had on my channel here. Um, like I said, everything sort of stopped um, as soon as uh, COVID happened. And I just, I can't believe how much, um, you know, how strong it was for me and how difficult it's been to get over the symptoms. It's just too much. But anyways, um, so yes, I'll be back very soon to share some more videos and ideas with all of you. Again, I thank you so, so much for your support, for continuing to watch my videos while I haven't been on. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for all your messages and your prayers and your comments and that sort of thing in my um in my community post when I updated everyone um so I'm hoping to be back soon uh, maybe a little bit uh, slower than um, usual but um, of course as soon as uh, everything feels a lot better I'll be sharing a lot more so thank you for your patience thank you for being here I truly truly appreciate you and I will be back very soon thanks so much for stopping by